All right, so in this video, we'll be unboxing the DualSense wireless controller for the PS5, and let's get into it. All right, so this is the outside of the box with the picture of the DualSense on it. Pretty standard for PlayStation controllers. Pretty much looks the same as the PS4 controllers did. All right, on the back, there's also the feature for the DualSense with the uh, haptic feedback, which is like 3D rumble for the uh, Switch Pro controller or the Joy-Cons. And then you got adaptive triggers, so it'll be able to adjust the sensitivity of the triggers based off of in-game actions. It's got a built-in microphone. I believe it's got two, one in the front, one in the back. It's supposed to try to isolate your voice to try to make that sound better in games. And then it's got a signature comfort. We'll find out if it's more comfortable than the uh, PS4 controller, the DualShock 4, or the Xbox, or the Switch controller, but let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up. So it's got a little tape that I'm just gonna cut, try not to ruin the box too much. That was the worst way possible to open it, but <laughs> let's go ahead and not too big of a deal. It's just a box. Let's go ahead and I'm just not doing great on this unboxing today. There you go. All right. So just a white box comes inside of it. That's interesting. I don't believe this is how the PS4 ones opened up. Um, let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure there was like a piece of plastic and it was just a box around a piece of plastic and that's how you did it. But I like that there's, this is all the plastic that was on the box so if you don't count the tape. So that's actually really nice. So you got paperwork, no one ever reads. No cord? Okay, so you don't get a USB-C cord unless it's in here. Ooh, that is nice. It's a lot bigger. I, exactly. Let's hold that off real quick. Yeah, there, there's no cord. Super weird there's no cord, but I guess the one that comes in the PlayStation 5 box will have a cord, hopefully. So I think I believe seeing other channels doing it, they have cords in the box for the PS5, so not too big of an issue. There was a little bit more plastic you know covering the controller but wow that is nice i like the texture i've been hearing a lot of people say that they like the texture it's got you know the playstation uh logos or playstation face buttons on the back so that's really nice it that gives a really good grip i do like that a lot i like the the see-through buttons i think i have a silver controller for uh dualshock that has the same thing for DualShock 4, has the same kind of see-through, or at least it looked see-through. It might not have been, but this is definitely see-through. This is nice. I'll get some close-ups of this uh, so you guys can see it front and back. Like I was saying, there's a uh, mic on the back as well as on the front, and it's got uh, kind of an updated plug down here. It looks like it will click into the charging adapter that I'll show on screen. I haven't got that yet, I need to. It's only $30. It's nice if you get an extra controller and the one that comes with the system, so it won't be too bad, but I like this a lot. I actually like this a lot more than the, the DualShock 4, I think. Yeah, I like the texture mostly. And it's a little bigger. I think it feels more like, yeah, like even weight-wise, it feels more like distributed where the Xbox controller is, but it is a little heftier, I think. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I'd like the touchpad. That's a lot, yeah, I like the touchpad a lot more. It feels like there's two buttons, a lot more than this does. This feels like one button, doesn't matter where you place it, it feels like it's one button. This one actually feels like there's two separate, you know. It's got a little bit more wobble, but I like that. It's got different face buttons, I'm pretty sure. Or just the feel. It's not as deep on the face buttons as this is, so this feels, let's see. Let's do a real test here. 
Yeah, that feels different. Just slightly. It's not bad, though. PlayStation button's different. It's... I just turned the PlayStation on. Oops. Uh... So the PlayStation button's more of a actual logo and not a circle like it does on the DualShock 4, which I like. Um, I like the symmetrical thumbsticks, and they're they feel different. It might be just because they're newer, but that does feel different. And so do the shoulder. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. So that PS4 here. And then this is the dual shock. A lot more hollow, but this these triggers feel a lot different. They feel like a lot more free. No, they feel more restricted actually. Yeah, they feel a little bit more restricted than the dual shock four. And I think that's because of that um, engine and everything down there. I'll leave a link down to the spawn wave video. That's going to come out with the same day, I believe, as my video. You guys can see that, and he's going to take it apart, I believe. I saw a thing on Twitter saying I think he's going to take it apart, and I saw like the mechanism of him showing it. So it's got USB-C. That's always a good touch. Let's see. I think I like... The DualShock is really nice. I would have to say... It's better than the DualShock 4. I think it's slightly better. I think I like it a slightly better than that, the Xbox controller. Except for the thumbsticks. I do like the uh, the asymmetrical asymmetrical thumbsticks on the on the Xbox controller more than the uh, symmetrical thumbsticks on the, the DualSense. But yeah, for the most part, I like it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you guys bought, uh, bought one, I got this from Best Buy. They released the controller early, and so I thought I'd pick it up. I'm probably gonna need a second one anyways, so I can play games with my wife and friends and stuff like that, so I thought I'd pick one up. And I like the dual, the, the style that both the controller and the console have, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have you know used it or seen it and felt how it feels. I think it is better than what the DualShock 4 was. I gotta remember DualSense, that's, that's the little thing. DualShock 4, 5 might come out, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they do with that, but this will probably be the only controller they have, but I do like it, I think it's an upgrade, and uh, look out for future videos on the PS5 once I get one, and the uh, Xbox Series X as well, and, and before we get out of here, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. And links will be down in the description for my Twitch page. I stream games. I've been playing a little bit with my wife on Saturdays. Um, that could change in the future, but for now that's when I'm streaming with my wife. And my stream schedule will be down in the panels of my Twitch page, so make sure you check that out for the most up-to-date stream schedule but there are also links down there to other things the amazon affiliate links other affiliate links to uh, gamestop and i'll try to make sure i put a little disclaimer saying that they're affiliate links and there are also links down there to twitter uh, twitch for this the youtube channel as well as my personal one like i said it before and same thing with the twitter personal and for the youtube channel there's merch down there if you guys want to check that out um, I'm trying to figure out how to update the logo since I found some flaws with it. Look out for updates on Twitter on that. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.